What's up, Disney Infiniteers? Welcome to today's video where we talk about new, never before seen concept art for Disney Infinity. Thomas Estrada, who worked on character animation on Infinity from 2010 until the end in 2016 with Avalanche Software, recently joined the Disney Infinity Reddit and showed off some new concept art for the game I'd never seen before. Thomas says many of these were under the working title Star Command when the game was still a single property sequel to the Western. Town Toy Box mode from the Toy Story 3 video game, and later Toy Box, the original name of the game that would become Infinity. Very exciting stuff here, so let's jump right in and break it all down. The first concept image shows concept art of the City Hall Space Needle. Now this tall tower has many details such as elevators from the bottom to top, as well as a backside elevator and moving platforms. The top also features blockhead ship docks with blinking lights. The blockhead is beamed in and out of this platform on the glowing square. The square illuminates when a ship gets docked, but is dark when no ship is there. The force field elevator also has some very cool details too. Once you step into the elevator, a light beam appears at your feet, creating a force field elevator that carries you upwards. Once used, it disappears. The next concept art is a visual style guide for character poses. It talks about maintaining, quote, a reserved coolness while still maintaining the identity of each character. On the left, they describe this example of how it doesn't say Buzz and how this example of Jack is not enough character and too passive. On the right, too much action and not the quote cool Jack examples are shown. In the middle, they strike the correct balance which is consistent with Buzz's character. They also show off the finished design of Infinity's iconic Jack Sparrow pose which fits the quote comfortable yet active theme. The next concept art image shows off an early Pizza Planet building design. Now what's cool about this image is they had the idea to implement a control panel that you could activate to control the claw. I always loved how interactive and creative the Avalanche team was with the attention to detail on little things like this concept. The next concept image shows off an early look at the conceptualized Pirates Island, which would then go on to become the Pirates of the Caribbean playset. You can see the fort and dock with the red ship, as well as the island filled with lush green plants and stone structures. It's so neat to think about how this concept art would evolve into what would become the beautiful Pirates playset years later. Next up, we have another toy box style guide which focused on how form follows function. It mentions that they aim to use, quote, the toy box features to call out areas of interactions on toy functionality. These toy features define the type of player interaction. The examples given are this cactus tree, which shows springs at the bottom which suggest movement. On this building, the hinged doors and latches suggest something can be unlocked. Another example highlights interactive windows that have hinged pivots with interactive buttons to press. They also show off Lightning McQueen between two horizontal tires which would be spinning to suggest turbos. And lastly, levers on buildings. Then they highlight functionality toy features that define the type of toy functionality. Examples here are buildings where you can see multiple points where functionality is desired. They also highlight seams for rotation on character models themselves. And lastly, they talk about plastic lights, a bell, cranes, speakers, rotating platforms, cranks, and slider hinges all on the building to help create that element of functionality. It's very interesting to see the early Infinity design ideologies and philosophies here. The next concept art image focuses on the Mater Shader Simplification Pass. This shows details on how they simplified the design of Mater, such as using a coarse airbrush gradient instead of actual rust, removing text on the door, and eliminating unnecessary details to give it more of that toy aesthetic. Then we're shown the Star Command Junior Academy. They showcase many details on this building such as the planet on top spinning, holographic signs, ledge grabs for climbing, windows to throw blockheads into in which they would get sucked into the anti-gravity training chamber, and they also show off how the ledge interacts when the windows open, a curved window which flips for platforming, and more ledge grabs. The Italian tracks concept art showcases how the team wanted to clearly help players know where to drive in terms of tracks. They show off ideas on how to visually communicate where the next piece of the track is heading. And I love how they were inspired by Italian tracks here, and even gave notes to other team members such as quote, it's possible that the track language needs to be apparent. It's something we should discuss. Just shows off again how much detail everyone had when making Infinity. Next up, this concept 
concept art is probably my favorite, Buttercup Playset. Now this is the first time we've ever heard of the idea for a Toy Story 3 and more specifically a Buttercup Playset. Alongside Buttercup you can see Lotso as well as the palace, rainbows, and much more in the background. Now I am really obsessed with this and I want somebody to create it in the toy box today. But I also wonder, what else was pitched for this potential playset? Hmm. Lastly, he shared concept art of Star Command signage icons. Now, we did end up receiving Toy Story in Space as a playset, but seeing all these amazing concept art images just warmed my heart. There were so many ideas, as we all know, and even all these years later, we are always discovering new things we never knew about Disney Infinity. So, Infiniteers, what do you think of all these new Disney Infinity concept art pieces? Which one was your favorite? Let me know all your thoughts in the comments section below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe for all the latest Disney Infinity news and content. <laughs>